Hi, this is Joe Pantosi with Alpha Omega Wealth, and it's Monday, July 27th, and I'm sitting here in my home office uh, working on ideas, talking to, to people, talking to clients, um, answering uh, questions uh, as they come in regarding uh, different people's uh, responses and situations in this in this COVID environment that we're in. And um, I just have to say that uh, my family uh, is praying for you, for your health, for your uh, peace, uh, for your comfort, for your financial ability, for strength to get you through whatever uh, difficulties or, or traumas or worse uh, that you're going through. So uh, if, if we could help you in any way, shape or form, uh, please call. Please, please write, please text, email, reach out by phone. My cell number is 702-334-4440. I wanted to touch on um, a topic that we talk about virtually every day and all day, uh, which is the, this idea about the infinite banking concept. You know, I've heard uh, so many stories and so many reports and so many interpretations, some of them fairly close to on point and some of them really out of this world that hardly have anything to do with the model that Nelson Nash built uh, over 20 years ago and, and one that we've been practicing now for 20 years. It was my blessing, my privilege, my honor to be mentored by that man, Nelson Nash, uh, for most of the last 20 years and teaching me the infinite banking concept so I could practice it in my own life and teach it to our clients, our agents, our family members, uh, pretty much anybody who will listen. But there are there are some misconceptions uh, about becoming your own banker. First of all, why would you want to become your own banker? I mean, it seems like it's redundant. I have a banker down the street at the corner branch bank. And we're not really talking about a brick and mortar building that you would build for yourself, but we're talking about uh, taking over, essentially taking over uh, many of the functions that a banking institution might otherwise continue to perform for you. And uh, this, this example has been used by, by so many people, but I think it's appropriate. When I go down to the corner hardware store, in my case, the, the Ace hardware store right down the street from my house, and I go to buy a drill bit, am I really in the market for a drill bit? No, what I'm really in the market for is some kind of a hole that I have to drill in a piece of wood or a wall or my outside stucco so that I can hang something at the very essence of it. I want the end result. I want the bottom line. I want a, a hole drilled. And then of course, what winds up happening is I have a whole garage full of, of drill bits that I've accumulated over the years. You know, banking or private banking, infinite banking, concept, your, your family bank, is a lot like that. We're not really in the market to go and create a banking system, but what we want is what that gets for us. So what do people want when they become interested in learning about the infinite banking concept? Well, for one thing, they want control. They want control of their money, and maybe they feel, rightfully so, that they'll be able to have a little bit more money, a little bit more control of their money when some outside financial institution is controlling less and the client's controlling more. We're absolutely in the place where we feel like we're creating more freedom for ourselves because the more wealth we create, we can create true wealth, that is, uh, which is, which is culture, which is value, uh, which is which is education, which is financial literacy, which is the ability to do more good. Uh, that's what, what true wealth creates for us. We want to create that by controlling our own financial environment in which we operate. We want to control and create more security. Uh, we want to create velocity. And we talk about all these things in our, in our webinars and seminars and one-on-one -on -one meetings with clients. And you'll learn that there's a vast difference between having your money sit someplace, whether it's earning interest or not earning interest, if your money is sitting someplace on the premise that it's supposed to be earning compound interest, you're gonna find 
that compound interest is not the be all and end all of finance. It's not the best uh, strategy to use to create wealth. But what is used by every financial institution and by every wealthy person is the concept of keeping your money in motion or velocity. So there's a, a contrast between, between compound interest and velocity. We want to increase benefits and the, the benefits could be varied. Uh, some people like the idea of having a guarantee, which is above zero. <laughs> They like the idea of having a guarantee that they can count on for a long period of time. And life insurance companies are built to provide those guarantees for hundreds of years. Some people like the idea of creditor protection. There are some folks who have a greater exposure to personal or professional liability. And so they like the idea of the creditor protection that their life insurance policies, which are really managed inside the framework of a family banking system would provide. So there are many things and that list of desires and needs and wants is usually different for every single person that we work with. So come to our website, uh, give us a call, find out what this infinite banking concept, this private banking system is all about. We're happy to share the education with you. I was just telling a client this morning, there is no difference in the information that I provide to my advisor agents when we're in a quote unquote sales meeting. There is no difference between that and the information I provide with our clients. We really strive to be completely transparent. We want our clients to know how the engine is built. We want you to look under the hood. We want you to have a copy of the operating manual that we work from. And if you'll give me a call or, or go to info at Alpha Omega Wealth, we'll share that operating manual with you. And you can read it. You can determine for yourself whether it's worth pursuing, uh, worth ingesting, worth executing in your own life. But very, very importantly, also sharing it with the next generation, sharing it with your with your middle managers, sharing it with the successor managers of your company so that you can use these concepts to create cross-generational wealth. The concepts that we teach in infinite banking work perfectly well in a nonprofit or a church setting, and we've proved that time and time again. So we don't care about necessarily creating a family banking system. What we care about is creating the benefits that that system provides. So give us a call, and I look forward to speaking with you.